Okay, next up, a really interesting thing that popped up online this week. Um, <laughs> I'm loving this. There seems to be this kind of like, um, how can I describe it? People seem to like taking the OG Xbox and just like ripping out its components and replacing it with better, <laughs> replacing them with better components. And uh, Alex pointed out this video from uh, Retro Renegade Repairs, where they've basically swapped out the original Celeron um, x86 chip in the OG Xbox for something better. And, you know, this joins a litany of um, upgrades that we've seen for the OG Xbox, ranging from, you know, faster memory, et cetera, et cetera. More memory, I think. Might be wrong there. But Alex, mm -hmm. this video caught your eye. Well, Tell us why. There's a lot of reasons why. First of all, the presentation, hes I've watched a number of the videos that this gentleman puts out on his channel. They're just, I really like this like chill, we're going to do this thing and you follow <laughs> yes. me along. And he seems to really love working with hardware and uh, doing all the nitty gritty like I mean, this is this is hand workmanship at this point. This is the equivalent of a carpenter working uh, just with, you know, like a different medium. And I find it fascinating to watch him do all these things and comment uh, on the side about it. So the, I think the presentation values are incredible, actually, in this video. They're very relaxed, really good. But the things that he's doing in a variety of the videos, the one in this specific one is actually about uh, uh, putting a socket on the motherboards to allow for essentially plug and play CPU installation on an Xbox using the variety of, I think from copper mine up architectures, uh, P Pentium three based uh, CPUs. So in this case, it, it is a bit of a novelty because if you just put in the fastest one you want, then that's great. <laughs> just put in the fastest one, you will never need to uh, essentially replace it again. Uh, the Pentium or the Celeron based uh, CPU in the OG Xbox is like 700-esque megahertz. Uh, and then on the PC side of things, Coppermine and above went from, you know, it was like 500, I think was the slowest, maybe 450 was the slowest, all the way up to eventually with the, the PGA 370 boards, you could get dedicated CPUs that were 1.4, or maybe even there was a canceled 1.5 gigahertz one uh, that, you know, it was taped out, but you can probably find it on like AliExpress or something like that. I have no idea. But uh, basically the whole deal is that these type of mods extend the power of the Xbox. Since it was like a DirectX based system, usually plugging and playing in faster hardware still allows it to run as long as it's the same architecture. And in this case, plugging in a faster CPU will increase the frame rates actually in a lot of games that are CPU limited. Curiously though, it won't help them all, especially in a lot of cases because uh, the GPU was one of the first like, you know, GPUs that supported pixel shaders. And that is a bottleneck at some point. Also, the original Xbox being uh, unified memory architecture, the speed and latency of the memory is extremely important for its performance. So you can have cases where that is another bottleneck, just the speed of the memory. And in that case, there are actually mods to, I believe, increase the speed of the memory, not by necessarily installing in faster chips, but by overclocking them if they allow it if I recall correctly, and that'll help too. But I want to just point out this channel because I like highlighting people that do really cool work. And in this case, I think this work that this person is doing is awesome. He's not the only person out there doing these type of upgrades, but this is the first time I've ever seen someone put literally just like a dock, you know, a PC desktop socket on an Xbox <laughs> motherboard. And I think it's awesome. And I yeah. really want one of these. Like, I would love to make a video that's showing off the difference in essentially the like what is an og xbox's performance in this game versus the upgraded one and you could find it's kind of like when you did like the the switch overclocking bit stuff rich yeah. mm -hmm. you know it's like that exact same level of fascination and in, in the original xbox's case there's a lot of games that are really cool but still have like performance issues yeah. so it'd be cool to iron those out and, and fair dues to Retro Renegade Repairs. He's done some comparisons here um, of 733 megahertz, which is like the base, 1 gigahertz and 1.4 gigahertz. And he's got examples where, I mean, there's no frame rate counters here, by the way. You yes. can just see the difference. Yes, I like that. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, there's no like 10% differentials here. It's just, it's just, you know, 
you could just see it's a lot smoother. The, the Half Life Two example in particular is mm, uh, it's the best is, one. Is striking, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd love to actually be able to you know check out an OG Xbox that has the HDMI mod, and then this Xbox with an HDMI mod because right. it would just plug into our existing workflow. It'd be great. It'd be so amazing. And I'm pretty sure he also does the HDMI modding, if I'm not mistaken. And there's a lot of other things he does on his channel. So this is just another creator out there that I highly recommend watching, especially if you're just in a chill mood. You know, it's kind of got like the LGR vibe where it's like really soft spoken and nice. Yeah, Retro Renegade Repair, 6.66k subscribers. That's not enough. Let's go there. Let's support this guy. I'll <laughs> Please let's put do. A, a link in the video description below, as we like to say. Um, uh, Oliver, thoughts? Yeah, it looks interesting. I mean, uh, one infamous, infamous uh, port <laughs> that I actually played back in the day, Half-Life 2. Looks like it's running on Xbox quite a lot better at 1 gigahertz and 1.4 gigahertz. Yeah. So that's definitely a, definitely a, a, a boost. Most Xbox games are okay performance-wise. They're, they're not too many really bad ones. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest difference probably will come in emulation where the N64 emulation seems faster. I'm sure emulation of all kinds of systems on the Xbox seems faster. For my money though, the original Xbox is not the best <laughs> Xbox stone for emulation. You know, a, a Series S or Series X in developer mode is, is a very capable machine, obviously relative to, to that, but obviously, you know, Xbox emulation was like a, a huge thing back in the day and it's it's nice to see it operating better, but I know that people have been upgrading their Xbox CPUs for a while. Generally, I hear of the one gigahertz upgrade. That seems like it's not enormously uh, uncommon. 1.4 gigahertz, though, is, is, is new to me. Um, it does seem like a pretty regimented process at this point, though, with the custom interposer and all that are already available. People seem to know what they're doing with this stuff. It's awesome. But it does, yeah, it does, it does seem really cool. And um, for sure, I think if Alex could get his hands on one of these, that would be a, a very interesting video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, you know, speaking of overclocking older consoles, what I've been wanting to do this for a long time, but um, overclocking RSX in the PlayStation 3, oh, yeah. uh, that is doable. I'm not sure that, I think it's something like 150 megahertz on core and you can do something to the memory as well. I'd need to, I'd need to check it out. But um, yeah, I'm really interested to see how that would actually have impacted the, uh, the cross-platform Head to heads back in the day, you know, an overclocked RSX up against um, Xenos GPU and Xbox 360. My gut feeling is the Xbox 360 would still be faster, but I'd love mm -hmm. to try it out. <laughs> and uh, also, there's uh, I've heard rumors, and I haven't checked it out. I've just sort of been uh, when I'm <laughs> doom scrolling, uh, seeing uh, that, that there's uh, maybe a Brazilian channel that has um, hardware modded uh, faster memory into Nintendo Switch. Mm. which and more memory which i think i'd like to check out as well given the chance but yeah interesting stuff